we're going to start with Millie. She just came in yesterday, so she's a newbie. So many dogs don't have any impulse control when it comes to food, and I hope that she displays some of those first little quirks that we see when fir dogs first come in, so you can see um, what we do in that instance. So I'm going to go ahead. I have half of her daily portion uh, because we feed twice a day typically here. Um, every dog's a little different, um, but typically I have a nice uh, schedule. That dog get half their meal in the morning and half the meal in the evening. So we're going to get started there. Her breakfast here. Open the crate, nice and calm. She can't get overly excited by just seeing the food bowl. If she were to get pushy and try to come out, I just close the crate and go back to crate protocols. But I have the food bowl in my hand. I'm going to bend over. When Millie goes for it, I just pull it away. Uh, I don't say any words or commands or anything. I just wait her out. break and then I say the release command and soon enough she will learn that she has to wait for that command now many dogs don't immediately eat right away because that confuses them a little bit and that's pretty common not a big deal so I leave that in there for about 10 to 15 minutes I then I pull it out any leftover food gets reused for the next meal same uh, scenario for Nash Half his daily allotment of food. Nice and calm when I approach the crate. Break. Jack has been here for about two weeks. The protocol is the same. We just wait for him to give us a moment of pause and respect and then he's allowed to have his food and I say break at the end. But I wanted to show Jack because he still may struggle and he'd be a good example of what a dog may look like even when they come home, where they know the rules, but if they can break them, they will. Break. So that was really good the whole time. I did pull away because I thought he was gonna move towards it. He didn't, no problem, very good. Feeding, like we just demonstrated, has a few benefits. So as we feed inside the crate, the dog has a nice safe space to eat their food. That helps us lower the chance of any resource guarding behavior around food, such as snapping, growling, biting, or even fighting over food. And we really don't want those behaviors. So by putting them in the crate, we help prevent those. The other benefit is since we made them wait a moment, they're learning impulse control and patience and that helps us have a well-balanced and well-rounded dog, not just around food and meal times, but as a whole. The other benefit is because the meals are planned and they only get their daily allotment of food uh, in half with each meal, that helps prevent overweight dogs, which there are many overweight dogs because they're given access to food all the time. So by having meal times, we help lower the chance of an overweight dog and help our dog be healthier. Thank you all.